Hello everyone, welcome to Hands-On Business Analytics. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to talk about the basics of IBM Auth Explorer or Infosphere Data Explorer. And uh, this is going to be a series of lectures on Auth Explorer and we will teach you how to build your own customized applications based on the Explorer by uh, demonstration of some typical examples. Okay, so let's, uh, let's uh, look at the um, basics. So what is uh, uh, X, uh, IBM Watch Explorer? So many a time you are exposed to tons of information and uh, you always find yourself uh, not able to find the most needed information and at the time you need it most. So that's where the IBM Auth Explorer comes in. So it is an um, application that you can help you to find the most needed information at the time you need it most. And this is done by analyzing the structured and unstructured data and by unique indexing and it has uh, many many features like the unlimited scalability and advanced data asset at navigation, etc. And also it can help you conduct text analytics and it has very uh, enhanced security for data integration and also it can perform query transformation, etc. And through all of these processes, it can help you achieve the result of improving the customer and s customer service and reducing call times and help you analyzing customer analytics and identifying idea areas of information risk and ensuring data compliance, etc. Okay, so so what what, what is the process of uh, of uh, IBM Auth Explorer? So first, it would help you to discover the data resources. Uh, by connecting security to all the third-party repositories such as Facebook, emails, etc. And it can, can provide you with unified search and navigation interface so as to achieve the customer's view. And it can help you su surface the relationships and themes of the data. And after that, it can also Assess the data by identifying the value of the data, recognize users of the data, and establish context of the data usage. So after this, after this step, then we can collaborate by augmenting data with user knowledge. So, uh, so, and also create a personalized view of data, and also identify ongoing use and system integration points. So. This is kind of a customized uh, customization that you can input your business specific business insight and rules into the system, so as to achieve better query result. And finally, it can help you to leverage uh, on your information by building compelling applications using all of your data. So this is where you can build your own applications and interfaces so what is uh, what is this framework so it has these four layers at the bottom is it is the connector framework well well the explorer would integrate all the information uh, such as the uh, relation to database the web etc file systems so uh, by integrating all the information, it can help you to uh, assess the, uh, access the data, data, resor data sources. And after this step, it would come to this processing layer by crawling, converting, and indexing all the information sources such as web pages. And after this um, data processing, it, it can also help you to conduct clustering, ontology support, etc. And also tagging. So after this step, it can help you to, uh, to, uh, to build 
an application is based on the application framework by managing user interactions, applications, and it can help you create contacts and the routing queries. And also can interact with entity models and federated query routing. So after this, after all of this step, finally you can build your own applications, such as uh, 360 degree view applications with a customized interfaces, so as to help you discover and navigate the queries. Okay, so what is its technical capability? It has a, a very good accuracy by providing more relevant results because of its unique position-based index technology. This is the key, and it can also help you leverage usage and feedback information, such as uh, tagging to the uh, data information and sources. And also, it has very uh, good security because different customers would ca can only access to different views based on their privileges so it can respect the security profile of the underlying systems and also it is very scalable because it can scale up through trillions of records so as to leverage a resilient infrastructure with enterprise class features and as, as, we, as we have seen in the last slide, it can integrate many information resources so it can support a broad range of connectors to structured and unstructured information. And it is very usable by providing intu intu intuitive user interface that can enable end users to quickly obtain a 360 degree view of their most critical information assets. So, the Explorer is a platform for the de development and deployment of enterprise information navigation and 360 degree information applications for heterogeneous data resources and application data repositories. And it basically, um, it basically includes three core modules. The first one is Data Explorer Engine, and it is um it is based on Vivisimo Velocity. So Vivisimo is a company that was acquired by IBM, and it was uh, many folks um development of Data Data Explorer. So with this with this Data Explorer Engine, it can uh yeah. We, we can conduct web-based development and deployment uh, for enterprise information navigation applications. And the second module is the results module. So basically with this module, you can um, easily extend this uh, these applications with your own business-specific highlighting of selected query results. And you can incorporate domain-specific knowledge such as taxonomies and uh, the third module is its application builder with which you can build own customized applications and it can also help you simplify the develop in development of applications so as to deliver the targeted relevant data to users based on their roles or, or interests within the enterprise or a specific organization And uh, this is the basic introduction of IBM Wars Explorer. I hope you'll like it. And uh, uh, if you like it, please stay tuned and uh, subscribe. Thank you.